All right, here's a video of Amanda from a kettlebell seminar a couple years ago at the Retro Fitness. And I want to focus it. Her swing's very good, okay? Um, I like the way it looks. This is the post-seminar swing. Um, so it's still not super smooth. And one of the things I want to call attention to is her feet. You see how it's wiggling around? And especially on that last rep, um, her heel popped up. So it comes down, toe pops up. Watch that toe pop. Oh, that one was good with the heel. And then there it is, right? So the heel drives up a little bit before knee extension. And um, to have a really good, efficient, locked-in kettlebell swing, we want to be locked into the ground with our feet a little bit better. Um, one of the recommendations is always to go barefoot or just in socks so you can really feel the ground. Uh, but in certain situations, like at a Retro Fitness or a YMCA, you can't take your shoes off. So you got to do a really good job making sure your feet get locked into the ground and they're planted heels and toes, and uh, we we're, we're have a nice platform to push off of.